What a, I mean, he's what everybody is looking for, mm -hmm. and that type of turnaround now is almost going to be expected by some fan bases. Abnormal, Chuck Pagano. The energy, the passion, the confidence that he obviously instills in everybody, his coaching staff, the players. Nothing more fulfilling as a coach to be able, in, in that deep, going back to Christian Harris, a kid out of Alabama, um, being able to show somebody, you break this stuff down hours after hour after hour after hour, and you show them, you show them, show them, and you come down to a situation, down in distance, it's fourth and two, and you've already gone through this in the meetings, right? Your third down meeting, your fourth down meeting, and said, okay, they get in this formation, and this guy's sitting right here, read the quarterback's eyes, we're going to be stepped right in front, and then when it happens, oh. like you got that guy for the rest of eternity. Number one, the, from a credibility standpoint, and all, so and and for for D'Amico, I mean that's all you do, right? He's a player's coach, and he just wants to put those guys in the best position he can to be successful. There's nothing more fulfilling. There's nothing more rewarding. Yeah, and they've certainly mm -hmm. been having the success alongside it. Go ahead, Tom. What jumps out like the beginning of that clip when he comes out and he's and he's dapping up Stroud. It's just loose. He's super loose, and then it's 17-14, still super loose. Like when you talk about the Cowboys, they came out and played tight. A Texans team is not playing tight, and then he's a great, great play call to, to Bobby, to Slowick. That's huge for this coaching cycle, too, because normally he'd be getting head coaching interviews, too, but because of all the – everyone's already in their spots, too. Texans get their OC for another – this is a this is a team that's – you know, they're reset. I guess Slowick, a big PFF guy, by the way. I learned that on the internet. Oh, really? Oh, Everybody know. was saying that J.J. and Slowick need to sit down and talk about PFF a little bit. That's what everybody was saying. Well, really? if that's how Slowick's making his decisions on who gets the ball, how they get the ball, oh, how he's calling games, then more power to PFF being the case. With that being said, Brandon Staley was also that guy for a little bit. It hasn't worked out inevitably. But Slowick, sensational. But I think it's because CJ. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. dude, this guy. And he's. We talk about D'Amico being like this in that big moment. CJ, he's like throwing darts already. Like there wasn't even a sense of like – discomfort, nerves, tightness. And that's because he played so much football in so many big games at the Ohio State. I genuinely believe that's a massive piece of it. Now, his body, how strong it is, mm -hmm. his arm, how accurate and powerful it is, like that's obviously a massive piece of it. Mm -hmm. But his mental toughness is what has made him so phenomenal here in his first year in the NFL. And he gave credit immediately to Ohio State. But having the the comfort in those massive moments makes me believe, why not the Texans? You know, the Baltimore Ravens obviously have it as well, but this team can do whatever the hell they want, AJ. Yeah, it is. It's crazy to think that, like, how close they truly are to going to the Super Bowl. Like, <laughs> when you actually sit back and think about it, like, where this team was, what, a year ago, 18 months ago? Not it did not seem like a great job to take. Obviously, we said when D'Amico got hired, yeah, of course, it makes so much sense for D'Amico to go there. He's a great player there, all of this stuff. Oh, man. Beautiful Wiggle. Right there. Nice. I like that little head movement there. At the he top had a drop the earlier, too, awesome. remember? Oh, yeah. Schultz mm -hmm. had a drop yeah. earlier, too, so that, you know, had to get a get but back. Think about CJ, though, Pat. Think CJ comes in, I think, not just Ohio State, any huge program that you can't lose a game. West think of all these – yeah, think of these well, colleges. Yes, West Virginia, boom. You lose one game, the sky is falling, they want everyone fired, they want to bench every player. Well, when, you, when you're under the helm, no matter who you're playing, if it's in college or whatever, that's still a lot of pressure on the quarterback, and he's got a ton of reps in those situations, so it can only help – once you get to the NFL, obviously. I used to tell people, you know, like, how do you, uh, like, people would talk about the big moment. Because I missed a couple kicks in the first quarter of a game that was huge. So there was always a lot of conversation on, like, well, what's going through your mind whenever you got some big stuff going on? The kicking and punting position is a lot of in between the brain. And obviously, everybody knows that professional athletics is done right here. There's a lot of people that can run. There's a lot of people that can throw. There's a lot of people that can catch. Everything is happening in between your brain. I'd go, well, you yeah, know, whenever you're at the table and there's one cup left, beer pong mm -hmm. you know sometimes you can only know how nervous or tight you can get because of the moment so whenever there's 50 people sitting in a room and you got one cup left and all eyes are on you you got to rebuttal you got to answer it's like there's nerves there and you can tell who can quickly handle it mm -hmm. and then there's ways to adjust and get better at those things the more times you're in that moment probably the better you're going to be so i think cj coming in as a rookie already calloused mm -hmm. right yeah. everybody's calling for him to get fired get shipped out of town he'd be, he'd been in big games lost big games won big games it's like he's missed that shot you know he's yep. missed the cup more than enough and then now it's just a walk in the park for the dude 
None of this should be as easy as it looks for this Houston Texans team. None of it should be. And damn it, they've been fun to watch. And we got to see him live, Cotton Bowl. Yeah, and it's unbelievable. And just talking to him in person, like the way he carries himself is is unbelievable. Just thinking about who he is. But like you look at the Texans, I never thought I'd say this or think it, but like I want the New England Patriots to be like the Houston Texans. Like we have <laughs> D'Amico Ryans, right? Former captain for Houston. Mm-hmm. Gerard Mayo, former captain for New England. Both played linebacker. Both are defensive guys in the league that is so like, hey, got to go get the next offensive guy, you know? So there are so many of those things, but the biggest is just like the hope of it. Like the hope that the Texans give teams and you know it was the Bengals before because they were so so bad they get Joe Burrow all of a sudden they're a Super Bowl contender every year Texans with Stroud now they're going to be a contender every year you would assume especially with D'Amico but like that formula that feels very new is this like one of the first times where a coach like this comes in with a rookie quarterback I mean granted they since Chuck Pagano and Andrew Luck but legitimately like that it gives hope to so many different teams especially the bottom teams but even even some playoff teams that that, you know, maybe need changes in certain places, it probably also gives them hope that you can have that success with a rookie quarterback. Now, granted, nobody else is going to be like C.J. Stroud. Aside. Nobody in the history of the game has. Yeah, aside from whoever the Patriots get next year. Well, and that, it's it's not just Stroud, too. That's the thing is they all these rookies. Like, and granted, Stroud being so good helps elevate these other guys, but, like, all these other guys that they drafted in this last draft, like, they're making huge yeah. impacts in the game. And, like, it just – that's typically not how the NFL goes, but obviously, like when you have a guy like Stroud, like it's very evident to see like he is one of those guys where you you don't need like a, a bona fide number one receiver because he's going to elevate the play of everyone on the field. Love everything that's happening in Houston down there at Strat House, NRG Stadium.